1986, my family was living in Louisiana where my dad was pastoring a church. One night while watching the news, he saw that a Toyota plant was coming to Georgetown, Kentucky. That night when he went to bed, he had a dream that he moved our family to Georgetown to start a church. He didn't think much about it. He assumed it was just a dream. But, but every time he would get quiet and pray, all he could think about was Georgetown, Kentucky. He eventually mentioned it to my mother and they began praying about planning a church in this community. After several months of praying and planning, my parents moved to Georgetown with very little money, three young children, and a lot of faith. In February, 1987, on a cold, snowy day, the story of Grace Christian began. Grace Christian had its very first service right here in this building, and three people showed up. Libby Gorham, Robert Burgess, and Miss Bohannon, who was our landlord. I think she had to be there. Every Sunday, my dad and myself would drag out a four by eight plywood sign, set it on the side of the road so people knew where we were meeting. I'm not sure how people found us, but they did, and we started growing. Over the next decade, our church had several different locations, including an old waiting room in an abandoned hospital, a downtown storefront building without running water, and a small church on Gano Avenue. Regardless where we met, we had one goal. We wanted people to meet Jesus. We've always believed that he's the one who can change everything. In 1998, we bought the 62 acres here on Lexington Road. We had sold our existing building and my dad had the crazy yet brilliant idea of converting a tobacco barn into a usable space. At one point, we had to cut all the beams and jack the barn up several feet so we could pour the concrete floor. The men of the church worked around the clock for 30 straight days to get it finished. Looking back now, it was one of the best seasons in our church's story. We completed the first phase of our current building a few years later and then added the Kids City Wing in 2009. We figured if we took care of people's children, then they would be able to tolerate my preaching. In 2007, I was pastoring a church in Birmingham when my father asked if I would come home and start the process of taking over the leadership of Grace. My mission has always been to carry on the work that was started by my parents. The story of Grace Christian is a story of faith and sacrifice. We've always been willing to take risks if it involved helping people meet Jesus. I love our story. I love to think about the hundreds of lives that have been transformed through the work of this church. I love thinking about the stories of marriages being put back together and the stories of people finding freedom from addiction. God has written a great story with our church, but I believe our best stories haven't been written yet. I believe our best years are still ahead of us. We're just getting started. There's so much that's still unwritten.